study uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 2. Uh, until the last Sunday, and uh, we uh, keep on study, uh, fasted, 40 day living, 40 night living. We need to keep on mind, we look at the Bible as the seven days process that covered the Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 through Genesis chapter 2 verse 3. The seven days is my salvation process. Fourth that I'm through the second Adam, who comes from the heaven, Christos Jesus, to become the last Adam, life-giving spirit process. So, Matthew through the John, we call the four gospel. Born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus is covered on the Matthew through the John. And then act through the Jude is the apostles who living in the presence of the Christos Jesus. So Matthew is the sixth day book. And the one we are studying, Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, is the starting point in my sixth day. That's why in the beginning, in my sealed head, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, that is one day process, which is the cardinal number. And then second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh is the ordinal number. So second, seven, third, seven, fourth, seven, fifth, seven, sixth, seven, seven, seven is the one day. That's why seven day process is one day process. One day process is seven days process. About that one, Apostle Peter is talking about Second Peter chapter 3. One day, thousand years, thousand years, one day. Thousand means my personal human nature, learning through the word of God to become the teacher, perfect man process. Until the sixth day, when we're looking at the Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 through Genesis chapter 1 verse 31, Evening, morning, evening, morning is repeated. So whenever evening and morning, one day, evening and morning, second day, evening and morning and third day, evening and morning, fourth day, evening and morning, fifth day, evening and morning, sixth day. Whenever evening, morning repeated, we move on to the next day. Then the day we learn until last Sunday, Yom is the pronunciation of the Hebrew word. Yom is the Yehovah's hand working through the thought and knowledge of God who through the mediator who is Christos Jesus. So Yehovah's thought, Yehovah's knowledge is given through the mediator who is Christos Jesus. And that is evening and morning repeated six times. Then we learned last Sunday what is the meaning of evening. And then evening is the Hebrew strong number 6153, Erev. That comes from the Arab. What is the Arab verb means evening? To braid, i.e. intermix, to traffic, as if by barter, give to be security. Which means once you receive the knowledge of God, that's the evening time. And then you are giving the pledge, which means you need to believe the word of God. And then you are having the fellowship with the messenger. So those are the ones agreeable to be pleasant, be sweet. Because it is a close association is happening in the evening time. So evening time is the receiving the knowledge of God. That is evening. That evening repeated six times, right? As morning repeated six times until sixth day. And then seventh day, there is no morning and evening. Because seventh day is light only. 
then you don't need to you don't need to evening which means you don't need to exchange the knowledge of god that means you are fully understand the will of god then what is the will of god to become one with the christos jesus as a resurrected person right let's go to the will of god then many places showing that when we go to the one of the verse in the new testament bible john 6:40. This is the will of him who sent me. Talking about will of the Father, will of the God. Everyone who sees the Son believes in him. Is it believes in him? You look at the right side, believing, BPP, continuously, repeatedly, habitually, believing into him, into ace. When ace becomes number, the number one, right? So this is a preposition accusative. What is accusative? Goal, target, purpose, then why you are believing. Many Christians, I believe God, I believe Jesus. Yes, without believing, you are not able to get the knowledge of God. Without having the knowledge of God, you are not able to believe. It is the together process. Faith and the knowledge, right? We already learned that, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13. The unity, the faith, and the knowledge of the Son of God. Christos, he called the perfect man. Believing process. That is the knowledge process. Then purpose is what? Into him, to become one with him. That's why 49 living has to be destroyed. 40 day living has to be perfected. Through believing into him. There is the will of him, right? To become one with Christos Jesus. So you no longer live with your name. You live with the name of Jesus. You become the son of the man. You become the son of the God in the seventh day. Then who are the son of the man, son of the God? Last era, seventh day man. Life giving spirit. You are able to give the life of God. You are able to give the knowledge of God. You are able to give the wisdom of God. You are able to give the power of God. You are able to give the perfect knowledge of the God. That is the name of Jesus. That means existence of salvation. That is true you. That is a true ego. In the New Testament Bible, Jesus is talking many times. I am the living bread. I am the true light. I am the such, 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 right? I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to Father except through me. Who that I? Who is that I? There is myself. Then who is me? Jesus. Jesus is true ego, true me. That's why I was talking when we're talking about when we're drinking the water from the Pishon, Gihon, Hittegel, Yubrates. When you came into this world, you got the name, right? William Smith, etc. I was talking many times. Who gave the name to you? Is that Smith is you? Yes, you are. But once you crucify, resurrect together, become the first fruit, living in the presence of the Christos Jesus. You are Jesus. That's the will of the God, will of the Father. Believing into him. They are the one who has the everlasting life. They are the one who resurrected. Then seven days processing is the all human beings purpose of the life. You know, we have uh, many different names talking about God, right? Yehovah in the Old Testament Bible. And when we move on to the New Testament Bible, 
You know what is the name of God in the New Testament Bible Korean translating? Hanaim. Hana means one, which means one. What is the name of God in English Bible? God, God. What is the name of God in the South Americans? Dios, which means Greek pronunciation is a Dios, similar. Chinese Bible, Japanese Bible, any Bible, the expression of the name of God is different, like a Hananim, Dios, God. But word itself is the symbol and the code. We're all talking about invisible God, but because of God is invisible, they just put the visible name. We have many other different names in this world. Like I just say, William Smith, June, or whatsoever. But there's only one name, Jesus. Son of the God, son of the man. God and man is combined and joined inside me. In order to do that, morning and evening and morning is repeated six times. So Matthew chapter 4, verse 2, 40 day living, 40 night living is repeated how many times? Evening and morning. So evening and morning. Then seventh day, there is no evening and morning. That's why when you go to the first First John chapter 2, all the way down. Start from 27. First John 2, 27. But the anointing which you have received from him. Anointing. If you look at the anointing on the right side, charisma, that's the neural. Neural function is what? Masculine, feminine is combined status, which is the mediator role. Then charisma is the mediator role, neural now, and Christos, which is English translate Christ. That is the masculine now. So neural and masculine, charisma, Christos is the same. And that anointing you receive from him abides in you. You do not need that anyone teach you. As the same anointing teaches you concerning all things, it's true, it's not a lie. Just that it has taught you, you will abide in him. Then when are you abiding, anointing and become one in Christos Jesus? Seventh day, when you become the perfect man. Unity, the knowledge, and the faith, and the son of God. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 13, perfect man. Seventh day man, life-giving spirit. And you are able to manifest fully. You are able to giving. You are able to delivering the message of God. You are able to give the life of God, spirit of God. That is what? John chapter 6, verse 63. Krema word, neural word, is the life and the spirit. Last Adam is the life-giving spirit. Same things. That is anointing. In order for us to get to the destination, the will of God, in perfect status in my sealed head, Daylight is in perfect status. Night darkness is perfect status. Evening and morning repeated six times. Then what is the morning means? Evening is the exchanging the knowledge. Which means I gave it up my man's knowledge, man's wisdom, earthly knowledge, worldly knowledge. I accept the heavenly knowledge above the water. Wisdom of God, power of God, image of God. That is Christos. And I agree. I accept pleasantly that is a sweet. And I join together. That time he called the evening. Then what is the morning? Morning is poker. That is the pronunciation of the Hebrew word. And then it translates as dawn as the break of day and morning. Morning bokeh comes from the bakar. That is the verb, strong number 1239. To plow, break forth, 
inspect, seek, inquire. And then an ox yoke to a plow, the breaking open of the ground with a plow pulled by oxen. So once you exchange knowledge, there is an evening time. Evening means in the Bible. Then you need to believe and uh, accept the knowledge. And then you need to start to sow that word of God that you receive. Plow, breakfast, you are inspect and seek and inquiring time. Which means you are self-studying time to live by the word of God. There is a morning process. The first Hebrew word, Hebrew alphabet is the Aleph. Aleph is the ox. And then you yourself, you ox, you are yoked to a plow. That's why Jesus is talking when you go to the Matthew chapter 11 and 28 is talking and start from 20. All things have been delivered to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father, nor does anyone knows the father except the son. So son knows father, father knows the son. What about me? The one to whom the son wills to reveal him. So son is the one who select me and give the revelation. Let us know the mystery of the kingdom of heavens. Through seven seal, seven trumpet, seven ball process. That's the revelation of Christos Jesus. So son is willing to manifest all mystery of the kingdom of heaven to me. Then Son knows the father, father knows the son, I know the son, son knows me. We all become one all together when we go to the John chapter 14, verse 20. In that day, father is in me, I am in the father, you are in me, I am in you. That is what I call Trinity process, right? So once the son revealed the mystery of the kingdom of heavens, in order for the son giving us the knowledge of the God, evening process, right? Exchange the knowledge, right? Have a fellowship with, right? That's why Jesus said, come to me. All you who labor are heavy laden. Who gave you heavy laden? When we go to the Matthew chapter 23, the Pharisee scribes, they sitting in the Moses seat. And they are giving the heavy laden. When you go to the fourth and fifth day church, you know, Sunday, aren't you receive the take some rest? I mean, if you are say Saturday is the Sabbath, aren't you supposed to having some rest? Oh, you are more busier in the church. When are you going to take some rest? Then? Physically, I'm talking about. They give you heavy laden. We are coming back to here. 23 is talking in that way. The scribes and Pharisees sitting in the Moses seat. Matthew 23, verse 2. Therefore, whether they tell you to observe, and they bind heavy burden, hard to bear. Not only they are not keep the commandment, exactly what the Bible is talking, and they want their members to keep the God's commandment. When you go to my blog, I put the 613 Jewish commandment. Even they are keeping the commandment as the man's lesson, man's tradition, without knowing the meaning of the commandment. That's the heavy burden, heavy laden. Lay them on man's shoulder. Then they themselves will not move them with one of their even finger. That heavy laden has to be taken off. Matthew chapter 11, we just go back. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. I will take you to the seven days by manifesting the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. In order to do that, evening, morning, evening, morning, evening, morning needs to be repeated six times to get into the Matthew chapter 4 here, six days. 
take my yoke. Yoke. You need to yoke to a pro. That yoke is what? Seek and inquire and inspect the word of God. Yoke. Then take my yoke means what? Learn from Christos Jesus. Then one day through the seven day process is what then? Learning process. Learning the will of God process. Learning the word of God process. Learning the purpose of the life process. All human beings, goal. Then what is the hamartia, which translated as a sin in the New Testament Bible? Mr. the target. You start from your life to get into the seventh day. Happy living. Life-giving spirit. But you are missing the target. A lot of different humans' doctrine, humans' wisdom, trickery of man. The wind is blowing, so you can miss the target. That's why we have to learn from the Christos Jesus anointing. I am gentle, Lord, in my heart. You will find rest for your soul. My yoke is easy. You don't have to keep 631 Jewish commandment without knowing the meaning. Love your God, love your neighbor. That is the all prophet and the law. Loving. Then God is love. Loving is what? Giving the love of God is what? Giving the word of God. God is the word, God is the law. God is the light. Giving the light, giving the knowledge of God in order to do that. Evening time, learning process. Morning time, inquire, research process has to be repeated until to six days in it. Then my yoga is easy. My burden is light. It is not like all Sadducee, Pharisee scribes in the days of Jesus, at the same time, under the guardians and stewards, based upon the Galatians chapter 4. That's why when you go to, in my dictionary here, when we go to the, the first word of the Aleph, the first of the Aleph. The original pictograph for this letter is a picture of an ox head, which is the first alphabet of the Hebrew word, representing strength and power from the work performed by the animal. This pictograph also represents a chief or other leader when two oxen are yoked together. Christos Jesus and I here talking about yoke together. And then between the teachers and the student, yoke together. That's why when we go to the Philippians chapter four, their name is in the book of life. How come? Because they are yoke together. You see here, she jigos. English translate your fellow. She is the together. Jigos is a yoke. Let's go look at the dictionary 4805. We are come back to here, 4805. Yoke together, right? Which means you are yoke together here between who and who? Apostle Paul and the, his companions. That's why for one, therefore my beloved and long for brethren, my joy and crown, stand fast in the Lord beloved. Brethren is the Adelphos. A is the union alpha. Delphos is the womb. We born from the same womb. Same mother. Then who is my mother? Fourth and fifth day when we go to the Galatians chapter 4. Hagar, bond woman. Abraham has two sons and two women. They are talking about that, right? Then mountain Sinai and correspondent to Jerusalem. So mountain Sinai is a fourth day church. Correspondent to Jerusalem is the fifth day church. They are under the bond woman. But sixth and seventh day, we are under the free woman, which is Jerusalem above. We all born through the seven days man. That's why when we go to the Hebrew chapter two, the one sanctified us, the one who was sanctified by Christos Jesus. His brethren, right? I implore you, I implore syndicate to be of the same mind in the Lord. We have a same knowledge, same 
faith, the same understanding in the Lord. I urge you also through companion, which means yoke together. Apostle Paul and these people, they are working together, study and learning together. Help this woman who labor with me in the gospel. With Clement also the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Christos Jesus himself is the book of life. That's why Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. They translate genealogy, but Genesios is the birth, book of birth of Christos Jesus. So I become a book of life when Christos Jesus is born inside me. That is the beginning of my sixth day. That's why Matthew chapter 1, 1 is the same as Mark chapter 1, 1, beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What is the gospel? Born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus. That is the gospel of Jesus Christ. That is the beginning is with, when? In the beginning of sixth day. When I received the spirit of his son, Galatians chapter 4. Born of a woman, born under the law, under the Moses law. Then we are start to yoke together here. Two oxen are yoked together. Teacher and the student, they are learning together. Evening and morning, evening and morning, evening and morning time processing. Or pulling a wagon and flow. One is the older and more experienced one, who is Christos Jesus, who is the seventh day man, like Apostle Paul. Who leads the other? Within the clan, tribe, family, the chief, or father is seen as the elder who is yoked to the others as the leader and teacher. Teacher is the seventh day man. We already learned that, right? Genesis chapter 2, verse, verse, verse 2, right? Melaka, the God's work is what? To make me teacher, messenger, prophet. That's why teacher is the perfect man. Teacher is the last that I'm life-giving spirit. Teacher is the one who eat the solid food, right? When we go to the New Testament Hebrew, right? Start from 12. For though by this time you ought to be teachers. Seven say amen. You need someone to teach you again. Teacher is the one anointing, right? You have anointing. We just look at the second, uh, first John chapter two, right? You need someone to teach you again the first principle of the oracle of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. Everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness. He is a babe. Babe is the one unskilled in the word of righteousness. Then who are the babe? Nephews. We learned the nephews, right? Many places English translate as a child. And then here is the only place translated as babe. This is an infant, 35, 16. Thirty-five, sixteen. Nephew's infant is the not speaking because ne is the negation, and then pios is the twenty thirty-one epo, which is a word. Epo comes from the epo to speak to say. So no speaking, no saying. There is the nephews. Obviously, nephews is the unskilled in the word of righteousness. But solid food belongs to those who are full age, adult men and perfect men. That is those who by reason of use have their sense exercised to discern both good and evil. God's good becomes my good. God's evil becomes my evil because I become the tree of life. Good is to giving the life of God. Evil is the one not able to give in the life of God. There is a good and evil. God's good, God's evil. Becomes my good, my evil. Then adult man is the one, solid food, who, who possess the word of righteousness. They are the one who become the teacher. In order to do that, evening, join together, 
evening, give a pledge, evening, have a fellowship with, evening, to be agreeable, to be pleasant, to sweet, and morning time, you start to yoke. In order to do that, you have to breaking open of the ground, isn't it? Right? That's why when you go to the Luke chapter 8, Jesus talking in the uh, parable, here it says, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. So morning time is the, you receive the seed, right? And then you start to breaking your plot. And you are, you are sowing the seed, the word of God, into where? Or into your heart, not the tabernacle. That's why when you go to 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 2, you are our epistle written in our heart, known and read by all men, read by all men. Clearly, you are epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with ink, but by the spirit of living God, not tablet of stone, but on tablet of flesh, that is of the heart. You sow the seed, the word of God, into your heart. Right? Who also made us sufficient as minister of the new covenant? So I can become the letter of Christos. I become the minister of the new covenant, not the old covenant. Not of the letter, but of the spirit. For the letter kills, spirit gives life. We sow the seed into my heart. So I am able to give the life of God. Life giving spirit is the seventh day man. Last day I'm based upon the first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44, 45, 46, right? Until the fifth day, old covenant, the minister of death. Written and engraved on stones. But it still was glorious, so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of the glory of his countenance, which glory was that has to be passing away. You cannot just remain in fourth and fifth day. Morning and evening, evening and morning has to repeat it, right? How will the ministry of spirit not be more glorious? For if the ministry of condemnation had glory, the ministry of Righteousness exceed much more in glory, right? So you are fully understand. Then the veil is taken away. Because when gospel is veiled based upon the second Corinthians chapter four, you are perishing, right? Now the Lord is a spirit where well, the spirit of the Lord is. There is a liberty. We are free from sin. We are not slavery to sin anymore. Right? Through the Spirit of the Lord. Through the Hrema of the Lord. That is the morning means. And then Boker 951 is the masculine now. Cattle tender, horseman. You become the cattle tender. You are able to tame you are able to provide the training, morning time. And then pekar, in a main word, inquire, make search. So once you exchange the knowledge through evening process, morning time is you need to inquire and you need to make research. Prepare for the next day, right? And then pekar is a carol and herd. And strong beast used to break the soil with the plows. Akara, feminine now, looking after seeking. Decorate, examination and punishment. So those are the morning time. Your morning time has to be happen all these things. That's why test and prove, test and prove, right? Peirajo, Tokimajo, Peirajo, Tokimajo, as we learned the, uh, uh, the, the first Corinthians chapter 15, right?
페이라도 도키마조 페이라도 도키마조 right? 2 Corinthians 13.5 Examine yourself as to whether you are in the faith. Test yourself. Do you not know yourself that Jesus Christ is in you? Unless indeed you are disqualified. But I trust that you will know that we are not disqualified. We are peirajo, testing. This is an examine, not the examine, but peirajo, testing. Tokimajo, proof. Test and proof. Test and proof, right? That is what? Morning time processing. Once you learn evening time, exchange the knowledge, morning time is what? Test proof, test proof, test proof, right? Inspect, seek, inquire. There is a truth, there is not a lie. Anointing is remain in me. And looking after and seeking, right? Then those are repeated, move to the next day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, until sixth day. That's why until sixth day, what is going through? 40 day living. 49 living going through, finally six day you are fasting. So 40 means coupled day living, coupled night living. Then once you have a full understanding, coupled night living is what? Six day is crucifixion. Then coupled day living, you become the full day, full night, move on to the Seventh day. That's why one day is Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 is light is the imperfect status, wasn't it? We already learned that. But the earth is what? The darkness status, right? So earth is the one to receive the light. But there is not perfect light yet until I get into the sixth day, I receiving the perfect light. Let's go look at the Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. We learned that anyhow before, but it's kind of repetition. But all the status, actually, I, I, I got a question by someone else long time ago. You know, between one and the two, you know, there is a gap in the human beings history. And then I said, English does not translate the conjunction right here. You see, King James even put the conjunction here, right? Mm -hmm. And then in the Christian doctrine, they said there is a gap theory. There is a gap between the one and two, which is a Satan is against the God between verse one and two. That's just a theory. The Bible does not say in that way because all the status. The problem is not the heaven. The problem is not earth. The earth is the one feminine noun who needs to receive the will of God from the masculine noun that is the heaven. But the heaven is the dual form. That's why the earth is not able to receive the one will because heaven is dual. That's why the earth is perfected VQA, perfected darkness already. So perfect darkness earth needs to receive the light. But the light is the imperfect. Verse 3, English does not translate in their way though. Look at here, let there be light. And there was light. Let there be light. You see, let there be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, right? Present. There was. Was is present. Action complete was, right? Past tense, right? Is that Hebrew Bible talking in that way? Absolutely not. When you look at the right side here, Bayomer Elohim, Yehi Or, Bayehi Or. That's the pronunciation of this sentence. You see here, let there be. V Q I M G S. M G S is right here. Now masculine singular. Masculine third person singular. This is the subject. But V Q I is what? Verb car imperfect. 
This is an imperfect beaver. So then light exists, exists imperfect. And then why English translate let there be? Totally incorrect translation. And by he, you see CW is the first letter here, Bob. You see the CW here, first word, Bob, which is a mediator and end. Same thing, V, Q, I, M, G, S. Same as this one, isn't it? You see, Haya, Haya. The second one is the same, V, Q, I. And subject is right here. Light. So then, correct translation is what? Light start to exist, begin to exist. And light begin to exist. Light start to exist. Because Yehovah God says so. The purpose is what? So I am able to do the ministry to hope almighty. About the Elohim I explained last, last Sunday, right? This is not God. This is a plural. So the reason why he say in perfect status is so I can become the Elohim. In order for me to become the Elohim, God's ministry, God's living, the light begin to exist and light begin to exist. So the earth is darkness perfected. So the earth needs to be, earth needs to receive the light. So sixth day is the day true light is start to manifest inside me. That's why when you go to the Matthew chapter four, we are looking at the study chapter four here, but when you coming down verse 14, it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet say, because here talking about the Jesus. Jesus. Jesus heard and Jesus living Nazareth, he came to work in the Capernaum, right? So it is fulfilled by the prophet Isaiah. The land of Zebulon, the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea, Beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentile, the people who sat in darkness have seen a gray light. Upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. Who are the gray light? Jesus. Jesus is the gray light. And he is manifested. How? Preaching. And then repent is not correct translation. Meta noeo. Meta, combine, join. Noeo, understanding. Combine, join the kingdom of the heaven. So you are able to understand. That's the preaching. Preaching is what? Giving the light. Giving the light. So sixth day is the light is star two. Manifesting. There says has dawn, but if you look at the Greek text, it's a anatello. This is a VIAA, verb indicative, aorist active, past indicative. So light, not has dawned, right? Light rose, arose. Anatello. You know what the anatello means? Ana is the up and above. Tello is the telos. Conclusion. Telos. Alpha, omega. Arche, beginning. Telos. Last. Last is the great light. Christos Jesus is the telos. Perfect man, seventh day man is the aner teleos. Telos. Telos is up. Let's go look at the dictionary. 393. Anatello. To arise, right? Ana. Up, oh, up, oh, right? Tello is telos. Point aim, conclusion, result, purpose, goal, which means end, English translated. Telos is up. Oh, telos is up. Oh. That's the sixth day, gray light, Christos Jesus is up. Oh. When light is up, oh, then, oh, you do not hesitate, right? 
because you are the one who looking for searching for right you are the one who looking for seek and inquire inspect to see the great light evening morning evening morning evening morning process so far one day through the sixth day great light is up telos is up then john chapter 1 verse 9 True light, who is the great light, word of the God, that gives light to every man coming into the world. But you see here, the light, the true light, exists in perfect. English translate that was, but you see here, V-I-I, -I, light is imperfect. Same thing, Gen uh, we just look at that, Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, right? Imperfect light. Imperfect true light. Now, imperfect true light is what? B I P A. Shine presently. Six day is the great light showing up in my life. And then presently, P R E S N T, present, B I P A, for human beings. Why true light is presently shine? So the world become the light world become the light you see comic alpha omega archetelos and then ericoma is what ppp right repeatedly continuously habitually coming right why a stone cosmos a again one right to become one with the world then world become the light that's the reason Then the true light gives to every man coming into the world. He was in the world. Is that he was imperfect? You see here? He exists imperfect in the world. Okay? The world made through him. The world did not know him. He came to his own. His own did not take him. Why? Because they thought they are in the light. They don't know they are in the darkness. They are in the shadow of the death. They don't have a cognition. They are not trying to combine, join to understand about the kingdom of the heavens. Look at the fourth and fifth day believer Christian. I believe Jesus. Jesus is good. God is good. And you know, some uh, the front yard, if you drive by, you know, they even put the sign, thank you, Jesus. What are you thanking for? Is it God really good to you for what? Judgment and salvation happening simultaneously. Right? If you accept the word of God, you are responsible to live by the word of God. Without knowing it, then you are Condemnation, you are under the judgment. Look at the time of Jesus. Pharisees, Sadducees, scribes. Jesus said, all oh, two scribes and Pharisees. You are blind leaders, right? When we go to the New Testament Psalm, 107, go down to 11. Start from verse 10, those who sat in darkness. We just look at that, right? Gray light, anatello. Telos is up in the sixth day. Who is sitting in the darkness, they are able to see that gray light. So they are metanoeo, combined, joined to understand the kingdom of heaven living. So those are sitting in the darkness, shadow of death, bound in affliction and iron. Why they are in the darkness in the shadow of death? Because they rebelled against the word of God, which means they do not have a full understanding the word of God. They are despised the counsel of the Most High. Right? My people destroyed. Why? We, lo we learned it from the Amos chapter, ever, uh, chapter A, right? My people are the Hosea, right? Hosea. My people destroy. Why? Lack of knowledge, right? Why people sit in the darkness and shadow of death? 
lack of knowledge against the word of God. They are not trying to accept the true light. When true light comes, the light that you receive is what? It turns out untruth. It turns out fake light. Who are the fake light? The Satan himself transformed himself into the messenger of light, isn't it? When you go to the second Corinthian, chapter 11, verse 14. You see here, such are false apostle, disciple workers, transforming themselves into apostle of Christ. No wonder, false apostle, disciple worker, apostle of Christ transform into them. No wonder, because Satan himself transformed himself into the messenger of light. Therefore, it is no great things if his minister also transform themselves into minister of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. That's why sun, moon, light, sun, moon, star is what? Falling down, isn't it? When great light is arised. There is a sixth seal is open, right? Six seal is open when you go to the book of Revelation. Six seal is open. Matthew chapter 24, so say that. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven. Happening when? Six day. And the power of heavens will be shaken. Right? Mm -hmm. Those things happening. Those all receiving from the false prophet, false teacher, the Satan himself transform into the angel of light. Because they are giving what? We went to the second Corinthian. Another Jesus. Different gospel. Different spirit, right? The serpent deceived Eve, right? By giving the another Jesus. Different spirit. Different gospel. That's why when you go to chapter 4, even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled, right? It is veiled to those who are perishing. Whose mind the God of this age? Force apostle, force apostle, force teacher, force prophet, and Satan himself? This age is blind. Who do not believe? Least the light of gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. The great light is arise, which means the great knowledge, the, the great light is the Christos. Christos is the gospel, born of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus, presence of Jesus is happening inside me. But God of this age, false prophet, false teacher, the Satan himself, they are making blind. Another Jesus, different gospel, this different spirit. So they are not able to receive the gospel of Christ. We do not preach ourselves. They were preaching about themselves, but we preaching Christ Jesus. And it is God who commands the light. We just look at that Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, in perfect light to shine out of darkness, who has shone where? In my heart. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. The light is shining to where? The planet of this earth? Absolutely not. They shine the knowledge of God. Image of God. Shine in my heart. So I can receive the light of the knowledge. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Earthen vessels. That's why we have to believe on the sixth day to become one with this light. So when you go to the John chapter 12, verse 36, while you have the light, 
Believe in the light. Is it? Believe in the light. Look at the right side. Peace to te a s t o p o s Believe, imperative, into the light to become one with Christos Jesus. That's the what? Metanoeo. Combine to join to understand. Then you become the sons of light. These things Jesus spoke and departed was hidden from them. Right? So you are believing into the light, into the light, a s t o p o s to become one with him. So you can become the light. There is an accompanying process, right? When you go to John 8.12, John 8.12, Jesus spoke to them again, I am the light of the world. He who follows me, it is not follows, if you look at the right side, the one accompanying, you see here, the one accompanying, BPP. a k o l u t e o is not follow. a k o l u t e o is I is the union alpha. k o l u t e o is the, in the same way. I am the way and the truth and the life. Jesus way. What is the Jesus way? b o r n of Jesus, crucifixion of Jesus, resurrection of Jesus. That is his way. That is the only way to go to the Father. Let's go look at the a k o l u t e o 190. You see here, to be in the same way, a company, right? So I never translate this one like a King James did follow and read. This is a company. As, as I say, G1 is alpha, is the particle of union, and then k e l u t o is the road and way, being in the same way, union way, union way, same way, which means a company with him. So the one accompanying to me, okay? shall not work in the darkness. Obviously, we are in the darkness by receiving the another Jesus, different spirit, different gospel. From the false teacher, false prophet, and the Satan, serpent. Once I receive the knowledge of God from Christos, we have the light of life. Then when that light is shine, we have to choose and accept this light Whoever hearing and learning from the Star Wars Bible Academy, Greek and Hebrew, we understand Bible clearly that the great light is shine into your heart. Look at the 319 in John. This is the condemnation. This is a judgment, condemnation. The light has come into the world. Men love darkness. They want to live with their knowledge, their wisdom, their, their belief, rather than the light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone practicing evil hates the light. That's why Jesus crucified. We are the same. Fourth and fifth day Christian doctrine totally different from the, what Bible is really talking about, the truth of God. That's why Jesus, when he sent out 12 disciples, you will be hated by everybody, anybody. Not because you are evil person, but because of the crema word that comes from your mouth. Whoever receive you, receive me. Whoever receive me, the one receive who sent me. Jesus say that when you go to Matthew chapter 10. So everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light. Least his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light. He this may be clearly seen that they may have done in God. Who is the does the truth comes to light? Who went through the evening, morning, evening, morning, evening process sincerely and honestly, right? Join together and then change the knowledge, exchange knowledge. And then they are doing the inspect, seek, and inquire, evening, morning, evening, morning, evening, morning process, sincerely, honestly, looking for the truth of the God, word of the God, looking for the true light. They are the one who are going to get into the seventh day. 
evening, morning, evening process. So force prophet, force teacher, they are belong to the darkness and the shadow of death. So we are believing into the light. We are accompanying with Christos Jesus. We are the one receiving the truth of God. Then what is the heresies? English translate heresies. When you go to the second Peter, chapter two, Apostle Peter talking this way. There were also false prophets among the people, even as there will be false teacher. So false prophet, false teacher among you, who's preaching, teaching from their own knowledge, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies. Look at the heresies. Iresis, hieresis is the Greek pronunciation. English translate heresies. Even denying the Lord who bought them and bring on themselves swift distraction. So, iresis comes from ireomai. Let's go look at the dictionary 139. You see, iresis and choice preference. And English translate heresy, right? And then sect. They are the one choose and they have the preference. Okay. This heresies 139 noun comes from the verb 138, take for oneself to prefer, which is choose. They just choose from the Bible without understanding entire 66 Bible as a seven days processing, my salvation processing. They choose here, there, little by little, then take for oneself to prefer. then they are the blind leader, false prophet, false teacher. They are belong to the night. They are the one who belong to the night. So about the darkness and night, uh, we are going to uh, look at the next class.